with the nuclear constraints on Iran one year closer to being removed, let me be clear. Israel will not allow the terrorist regime in Iran to develop nuclear weapons. Not now, not in a decade, not ever. That was just moments ago, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu addressing the UN General Assembly, not wavering at all on Iran. We have a whole bunch of issues to talk about. Let's bring in Ambassador Nancy Soderberg, former U.S. Ambassador to the UN and former Deputy National Security Advisor to President Bill Clinton, and Ambassador Adam Airely, former State Department spokesperson and former U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain. Great to have you both. It's interesting listening to Netanyahu yet again this year to, to, to make note that this is the first time we're hearing from world leaders after the nuclear deal with Iran has been implemented. And one of the big questions, Ambassador Soderbergh, is this. What's changed? A lot has changed. Iran has been stopped in the tracks of its nuclear weapon on all paths that it currently has. So the world is a lot safer and Israel is safer. Now, we don't trust and we will verify. Sanctions will snap back if they cheat. But if you listen to the Iranian speech, it was vastly different. No longer death to America, but talking about a new era, a constructive dialogue. It's night and day, and Israel is safer for it. Ambassador Airely, do you agree? Um, I think that the a nuclear agreement uh, succeeded uh, insofar as it, uh, as it aimed to, but it's a very limited success. Look, what we've done is we've kicked the can down the road. Iran has stopped its uh, enrichment program, uh, but it's going to resume as soon as, this, as soon as this agreement expires. But more importantly, their troublesome behavior in the region and their aggressive posture towards the U.S. allies has not. In fact, it's only intensified. So my concern is they've pocketed the, they've pocketed the concessions they've, we've made and have not altered their behavior uh, in a whole variety of fields that causes us or that should cause us great concern. Ambassador Soderberg, one of the reasons that folks may have concerns are, for example, the way that Iranian ships have harassed our ships in the Strait of Hormuz, or the fact that Americans have been taken and imprisoned in Iran yet again. We spoke to a, a husband of a, a British dual citizen that is in prison in Iran right now today. And so one wonders about Iranians' actions, not necessarily their words. And I'm curious about what Rouhani, the president of Iran, wants from the United States now, which is to really uh, lessen some of the banking restrictions on, on his country so that they can fully engage in business, international business. Do you think that's something that the United States should do now? All things considered. No, I don't. I mean, you, there are still a variety of sanctions on Iran, um, and rightly so. We don't have to guess what Iran is doing. We know what Iran is doing. It's supporting terrorism in Hezbollah and Hamas, supporting the regime of Assad, which is committing terror in, throughout the region. Um, it is still a threat to the United States, and that's why we still have sanctions on. But it is less of a threat without a nuclear weapon. It's not just buying time. We have blocked that path. They may cheat in the future, and that's why we're on top of it. But we will not lift sanctions until their behavior changes. Their behavior did change on the Iranian nuclear program, and that's why we have had some sanctions lifted. The rest will be lifted when their behavior changes, and no one is holding their breath on that step. So and when, when, what would that change look like, Ambassador Airely, for someone like you who's a little bit more cautious about engaging with Iran? Well, I just think that uh, uh, what, a, what a change except to the United States would look like uh, would be, look, they've tested, despite the agreement, uh, they've tested they've new tests of ballistic missiles. Uh, which have been in violation of U.N. sanctions. Uh, the U.N. didn't do anything about it because we didn't push it. Um, there other changes would be to stop supporting surrogates in Syria, in Iraq, uh, in Yemen, uh, and trying to overthrow friendly regimes uh, in Saudi Arabia and the Gulf uh, that the United States relies on for its security. But that's, you know, that's a pipe dream, frankly, if you if you judge by what Iran does and what Iranians say, Hassan Rouhani's uh, comments notwithstanding. There's two different schools of thoughts about uh, the way we should behave when it comes to diplomacy with Iran. Now that some, there's some communication, obviously, between our two countries. Ambassador Soderbergh, do you think we're close to opening an embassy inside no, Iran? No, I don't. Do you think we'll be <laughs> no. in our lifetime? 
Uh, we are a long way from that. This is a regime that uh, represses democracy, represses human rights, has political prisoners, um, is a theocracy behind the power. It's not a democracy. If you look what happened in 2009 when you had young demonstrators shot on the streets and those movements squashed, they will reemerge. This is not over. We're going to see a reemergence of a democratic push. How the regime reacts will determine how we react. Uh, right now, I'm not confident at all that they will let democracy happen. It's a very slow, long process, but the regime that has been in tight control, they're getting old and the youth is coming up. Iran is driven by the youth. And so we're trying to reach out to them and show there is a different path. How long that takes, uh, my guess is it's a decade or two, maybe a generation. And the United States is not going to overreact to that. We're going to not trust and verify the Iranian actions. But the world is safer today with that nuclear agreement in place. And, it's and really uh, safer. And there's no doubt about that. It may not work in the long run, but it's helping to ease tensions in the region at a very volatile time. And, and I'll just add one point. We sure. need Iran to help in Syria. And these kinds of uh, releasing of one tension can help in others. We'll wait and see and verify if that does. I, I'm going to have to run, but Ambassador Airely, your final thoughts on that? Well, I completely agree with Ambassador Soderbergh. Change in Iran is going to be gradual. It's not going to be sudden. Um, I would not expect them to be helpful in Syria. Uh, I think U.S. diplomacy is a combination of carrots and sticks. And over the near term, we need to be less appeasing towards Iran and I think a little bit more uh, of the stick. We'll see what happens from here. Thank you both for joining us today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. It.